Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at the Lenovo Yoga Tablet 2 Pro, which is a new Lenovo tablet computer, Android computer, which has one rather remarkable feature, which is a projector that projects the screen onto any flat wall, so you can use it to do your very exciting multimedia uh, at sizes larger than the screen. Um, out of the box, let's have a look and see what's in the box. It is very simple. Power lead, power block, USB power cable and headset. And a very, very simple user guide. Basically telling you how to, uh, where all the bits are and how to turn the projector on and off, etc. And that's it in the box, really. Okay, first things first, the, <laughs> this is a large tablet computer, 13.3 inch screen. Um, it's not the sort of thing you stick in your pocket or even uh, a small bag, but it's, it's really quite a unique product because of this uh, projector we talked about here in the end here. And also the fact that it's running Android KitKat 4.4 plus a stonking 2550 by 1440 screen. Lots of high resolution. The one thing to note is that this is not to be confused with the Lenovo Yoga Tablet 2, which runs Windows operating system, not Android. This is the Yoga Tablet 2 Pro. So let's be careful about that because it can be kind of confusing. I'm not sure why Lenovo's done that. Anyway, let's go through the actual ergonomics of the thing. Power switch here, on off, uh, headphone socket, micro USB, uh, volume up and down. And on the other side, the, this remarkable projector, the re projector trigger button and the microphone and two JBL surround sound speakers here, which are quite loud as we'll see later on. On the back, you have the by now quite well-known Lenovo stand, built-in stand, which is Quite a kind of cool and very useful on a 13.3 inch uh, two pound in weight uh, la uh, tablet because it gets kind of heavy after a while holding it in your hands. Rear 1.6 megapixel camera here and the front is an eight megapixel camera, so which is there at the top here. So it's got some good camera quality in it. Back here, if you have the 3G version, which is this is not, that's where your SIM card goes. And that's a micro SD card, which takes up to 64 gigabytes of extra storage. Inside the unit is 32 gigabytes of storage and a two gigabytes of RAM. So well specified and an Intel Atom processor. So you've got uh, the basics of a fairly punchy kind of, um, kind of computer to be honest with you and as you can see it's uh, it's got a beautiful screen if you're just looking for it and it's obviously geared for multimedia so you know you, you're getting some really s gorgeous sound if you listen to that coming out of the, these front speakers no problem with hearing this um, you know as you go and everything is, is really geared towards that kind of consumer con, uh, consumer use rather than a business use in that respect. Being Android, of course, it has all the usual Android things that you ex you'd expect. So you have a full uh, settings dashboard. The only addition uh, additional things really are things like the projector where you can control how the projector displays um, keystone correction and stuff like that, which is just quite kind of neat actually to see this in, in built. Um, from the get-go. You can't actually, strangely enough, you can't actually get to the uh, the settings from here. This is just a, a from the uh, notification bar, you just get this kind of strange uh, notification center settings on there, but it's not a big deal. It's, it's uh, And as you saw, you can actually swipe up and get some stuff at the bottom here, to, which gives you more control. You get full access to Google Play, as we'd hope by now, browser comes standard with it, of course. And as you can see, the browser works nicely, as you'd expect, let's go into the maps. And of course, mapping is there. And with that kind of RAM and the processor, you're, you're getting some good response. We ran an Antutu test on it earlier, and as you can probably see from here, you can see that properly, 35035, so it, it does give a pretty good result. 
And here you got the game playing capabilities, um, Asphalt 8. <laughs> As you can see again, it's it's dealing adequately with the a little bit a little bit glitchy, but you know, you'll certainly be able to play it. Oh, except for if I could do it properly. Um, the graphics are actually on this 13.3 inch screen are quite quite striking, not because of the resolution so much, but because of the sheer size of the tablet. You know, it's uh, it's also uh, it makes it a little bit heavy to to carry around. It's not quite as easy to manipulate, obviously, when you've got this kind of size. But uh, it, you could do it, as you can see. Um, I may be a pitiful driver, but I can still make it uh, do roughly what I want it to do. The camera with eight megapixels is, is definitely higher than your traditional camera uh, options on uh, tablet computers. And the results are, as you'd expect from a, from a tablet, passable and actually usable, but not anything you'd uh, rely on as your main camera out there. But some people rely on tablets for their main cameras and I have to give them all due credit, but I wouldn't. But anyway, but as you can see, it does do autofocus quite effectively and the results are passable. But what about the projector, I hear you ask? Okay, well, let, it's quite simple to get it running. Uh, what you basically do is hit this button, hold it down for a period, a few seconds, and on it comes there. Can you see it there? And it will then, well, you're supposed to play it's place the tablet sideways. And you also have here, I forgot to mention earlier, is a, a focusing switch. So that gets the focus right for you. So let's see if I can get the focus. There you go. And uh, if I can run a, it's not ideal, but let's see if I can run a um, the video from here. There you go. <laughs> I really like these speakers. They're really great. But this is obviously a, a very horrible um, angle in which to try and display. You're supposed to set it up with the with the, the stand there, set it onto the table properly, get it nicely set up, it'll handle the keystone and everything, and you get a pretty good result out of it. But it works. There you go. Smaller, larger. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Obviously, the, the, the results are going to be dependent very much on the kind of screen you have on it and the ambient light. But as a, a stopgap to watch movies on the go, yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool, I have to say. It's a, a very cool function indeed. Now, the, the battery life is um, claimed to be up to 15 hours. It's got a 9,600 milliamp hour battery on it. Um, we uh, <laughs> would doubt if you're going to get that with using the projector and using multimedia or playing games or any of that kind of stuff, whether you're going to get anywhere near that kind of, uh, of, uh, of battery life. But we'll report back on that as, as we go in terms of what we, we experience in real use over time. But there you go. That's the uh, that's a, a, a run through of the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro tablet, or Lenovo Yoga Tablet 2 Pro, I should say. Sorry about that, Lenovo. Um, <laughs> absolutely unique. <laughs> this projector is more than just a gimmick. Uh, you know, I can see it actually being quite useful in in a number of ways, um, both for entertainment purposes and even maybe in a, in a business scenario, in a, in a meeting or something when you're trying to show off your dare I say it, presentation. The Lenovo Tablet 2 Pro. As usual, if you enjoyed this uh, video, please uh, subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more cool stuff. Thanks very much.